Imagine a more miserable place to uh, live than up here in the high desert. I was saying the movie Aaron Brockovich celebrates the life of a very colorful woman who's had a pretty amazing career when you think about it, coming from being born in Kansas, raised, moving out to California initially training to be an assistant manager at Kmart, giving that up, then entering a beauty contest and winning Miss Pacific Coast. But she didn't really care about uh, beauty contests and things are up, life was up and down with uh, marriages. And the, uh, I think it was like 19, early 1990s, she was injured in an automobile accident and she worked with an attorney, got a small settlement, but then went to work for that attorney. And in doing some filing of papers as one of her jobs as a legal clerk, which she really didn't have any training uh, for whatsoever, she started to notice in medical records of certain cases uh, in this town of Hinkley that people were contracting uh, sometimes fatal disease, cancers and things, and what to her appeared to be an alarming rate. Well, we're going to fast forward the case. Eventually, Pacific Gas and Electric Company did admit to dumping uh, a chromium compounds into the uh, water here, not putting it in containment ponds, and they used that chromium compound to cool um, transfer pipes for gas pipelines, natural gas pipelines here in California. Sad reality is though that that uh, chromium compound went into the groundwater and it created what was called a plume in the underground water system here and it ju just basically rendered it unfit for uh, drinking. pg and eventually paid out big money, $333 million dollars of which the law firm got 130, over 130 million, and Aaron Brockovich was awarded by the law firm two and a half million dollars for her work 
in that uh, case and she went on to um, work, never went to law school, but was involved in, in uh, doing quite a few other lawsuits, uh, most of which were not really effective or uh, resulted in wins. We only care about this particular case because the movie Aaron Brockovich, the town is happy, the woman gets a settlement, the house is bought out. The town of Hinckley, which that uh, which that movie and her life and Aaron Brockovich real life is based on, uh, as I mentioned, that's where I am today. And this town had no such happy ending. No tourists visit this town now because PG&E has been systematically buying houses and bulldozing. There's a few people uh, left around town, some of the old stalwarts, um, but it's quite a, um, quite a quite a tragic case in another ca another town in California where the groundwater has been ruined. Now there have been fixes advanced. Some of them are quite good, but the main one that most of the scientists and chemists have signed off on was injecting ethanol. Yes, ethanol. That's drinking alcohol in distilled alcohol, the drinkable kind, distilling that and or pumping that into the ground and for some reason or another it remediates or binds with the chromium or whatever. Most scientists have signed off on that as a great as a great plan, but a lot of people, not a lot, but a few people in town have held off and uh, don't want more more compounds pumped into the ground. So the town withers and the town dies. And uh, I'm looking over to my left here to the um, the uh, school that's been long closed down. We'll head down the main street here and look a little more. Quite a tragic situation. And none that, uh, well, the lawyers probably got happy. Aaron Brockovich was happy. But uh, I, don't, I don't know about this town. Let's uh, swing down here. The uh, school over there, it's kind of sad, the population, so depleted. Hinkley School, that uh, had to eventually close that down, and there's not many people left in town anymore. incredible disaster and a lot of people couldn't get anything for their homes just moved out and just left them abandoned here it's 113 degrees degrees of blast furnace. But this was quite a nice place at one time. Hinkley County.
Dude, as you can see, there's um, <laughs> really not a lot, not a lot left of Hinkley anymore. The town that made Aaron Brockovich a household name, huh? Think she ever comes back and visits here? She's living real nice down in Agora Hills in Southern California, spending that two and a half million dollars. Meanwhile, what life there is in Hinkley, this grinds on. Another sad chapter in uh, groundwater pollution in California. But, uh, one of the most famous cases in law, certainly in the uh, 20th century, resulting in the largest direct settlement payout in U.S. history, $333 million. If you're not subscribed, you should be. I love bringing you adventures, especially towns and places that uh, well, nobody visits anymore. I do, and I'd like to share it with you. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for all notifications, so you'll see where I am. I don't care, 115 degrees, 125, 20 below zero. There are stories to be told. I'm going to tell. Thanks, everybody. Thumbs up or appreciate it.